Do you have a good memory that you think back on often with joy? Is there a moment in your life that has brought you so much happiness and peace that every time you think back on it, you can't help but to smile? Is there a time in your life that you often look back upon in your mind when you feel sad because this moment is sure to brighten your mood? In today's text, we find Mary experiencing a moment just like this, a moment that will be treasured in her heart for the rest of her life. In today's study, we read that Mary and Joseph travel to Bethlehem to be counted in the census. And while they are there, Mary gives birth to Jesus. Luke chapter two, verses six through seven says, and while they were there, the time came for her to give birth and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Jesus had very humbling beginnings, didn't he? Can you imagine not having room for the savior of the world? Can you imagine not having room for the Lord? Although the world did not make room for Jesus, heaven surely did. In the same region that Mary and Joseph were when Mary gave birth to Jesus, there were shepherds in a field watching over their sheep. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to them proclaiming the good news that the Savior Jesus was born. Luke chapter 2 verses 10 through 14 tells us, And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those whom he is pleased. When the angel and heavenly host left, the shepherds went right away to Bethlehem to find Mary and Joseph and Jesus lying in the manger, just as the angel reported. The shepherds shared everything that the angel told them and everyone who heard was amazed. While everyone else was amazed, however, the scripture tells us that Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. Mary quieted herself to hold the moment, a very important practice we can all learn from and appreciate. This was a moment that Mary would recall again and again when times were good, when times were confusing, and most importantly, when times would become beyond challenging. The word treasure means to hold or keep as precious. The word treasure also means to collect and store up something of value for future use. I believe this is exactly what Mary did. She was holding the moment. She was treasuring it in her heart so that she could recall it again in the future when she would need it most. This was a good day to celebrate the coming Messiah, but more days awaited Mary and this was just the beginning there would be challenges, there would be great losses, there would be sacrifice. And I believe in those times, Mary would look back to this moment. And I believe she would remember how God kept his word, how he confirmed his word and saved his people. I wonder when Jesus was crucified on the cross, was Mary reminded again of this treasured moment that when it seemed like all hope was lost god's hand can be traced throughout history to remind us that he is the god that can do the impossible this moment proved that god keeps his word that he can accomplish the impossible and it was a moment that deserved to be cherished as we go on to celebrate the wonderful and miraculous life-changing birth of Jesus Christ this season, I pray that you treasure up 
the moments. I hope that you will set aside time to take a step back while everyone is eating and unwrapping gifts, laughing and drinking and smiling, to take a deep breath and to really take in all the good that God is doing. Treasuring the moment first takes realizing that the moment deserves to be treasured. If we become distracted with all the hustle and bustle that this season can sometimes bring, we might miss a moment that we will need in the future. So I encourage you to slow down, listen, open your heart to see the goodness of God in this season, much like Mary did, so you can treasure these moments because you never know when you'll need them again.